Hi, this is Highbridge Motorhomes Devon Branch, and on this uh, rather dank, uh, but nonetheless quite mild, uh, early November, December even, 2023 day, we're doing a quick video on this uh, absolutely lovely 7 metre island bed shows on Titanium Premium. 648 so this is a 22 plate van it's a van that we've uh, known from new we sold it uh, new to its first owner and we've sold it again since uh, it's a 6.99 meter three and a half ton island bed the titanium range came out in 2019 initially as a special edition uh, and now uh, they've been rolled out as, as actually the they've they were so popular they replaced everything else so the titaniums are all based on the Ford Transit front wheel drive Euro 6 that all the 2 litre 170 horsepower engine now each year as the years went by they started adding more and more specification as standard upon them and then this one's had some extra bits fitted to it as well so it's a real nice high spec van uh, it's low mileage as well so 6.99 meters long so it's under seven meters so it's in the cheaper ferry bracket uh, three and a half ton with a workable payload at three and a half ton although if you have a driving license and you want to carry endless boxes of wine back from France you can up plate it right the way up to sort of four 4.1 ton we can do that for you it's just paperwork but as it is she's a three and a half tonner so let's have a little look at the window sheet so it's a Chausson, Chausson uh, uh, France's biggest, I would say, motorhome um, manufacturer, part of the Trigano group who own, amongst others, Adria, Auto Sleeper, Auto Trail, uh, Benamar, Roller Team, uh, Euromobile, um, Rimmer and lots of others as well. So it's a four berth, four seat belt. Uh, they're all six speed automatic. You cannot have a uh, manual gearbox titanium premium. But frankly, with a six-speed fully automatic torque converter gearbox, why would you want to? Uh, it's three and a half done, as I said, it's four transit, two litre, but it's 170 horsepower. The 130 was standard, um, but uh, these are all 170s. It's done about 4K, we'll check the mileage exactly, so it's not been busy. 6.99 long, 2.35 wide, it's 2.92 tall, because that gives it the height to fit in a front drop-down bed, which this one has for the fourth berth. Price is 69.95, if you were to spec one of these up new with the bits this has got today, would it be? 78 grand if you can get one um, which you probably can't for a long time either so let's have a little look around so we've got the big meaty ford front end uh, front fog lights don't get them on a fiat uh, really smart black alloys which were new for the titanium premium which is the 2022 incarnation uh, electrically adjustable heated wing mirrors and this has got some malenko mirror guards over the top as well to protect them Fuel goes in there, it's add blue, so it's Euro 6, so your low emission zone compliant. Now these are Grade 3 fully winterised van, it's double glazed all the way around as you'd expect. And of course the French take these skins, it's got thick roof and thick floor and, and wall insulation, so they're very, very warm and it's got a really good heating system, which I will come to uh, shortly. So coming down here, the uh, the near side, habitation door being a European van's on the off side, you've got mains hook up. Single leisure battery, which is 100 amp power, and it's got a good sized solar panel on the roof as well, this one. And here we've got a service hatch, which I really like, which you could do with two hands to open. There we go. So in here you've got your fresh water tank, so that's inside, stop it freezing up. You've got a quick dump point uh, to uh, drop it down to 20 litres, or you can drop it all the way to empty through there, and you just fill it up through this pull-out spout there, so you've not got a water cap to freeze on or anything like that, and you've not got underfloor tanks to freeze up like the English fans. Next to there, you've got your trip switches and your fuses, all nice and easily accessible. Smart looking van, it's got this sort of taupe coloured side to it, sets it off really well with the black alloys. So we've got an external shower there, um, just for hosing off yourself, your bikes, your dogs, if you've been to the beach or whatever. Underneath of there, that's a clue there, is your wastewater dump point. There'll be a, there'll be a lever. I can't see a lever, but there'll be a lever down there somewhere to dump that. So you've got your bedroom window, so it's got a big island bed at the back, and then a twin sofa smart lounge, as Shosun called it at the front, which is a parallel sofa, but with seat belts lounge. Now this is where it gets interesting. I love this heating system. So it's Truma Blown Air Heating, as are 
probably more than 80% of all motorhomes, if not higher on the market. But whereas most will run off of gas if you're not hooked up, mains electric if you are, this runs off of mains electric if you're hooked up, and it runs off diesel if you're not hooked up. Uh, Shosun have been using this for many, many years. It's a more expensive system than the gas and electric one, but for those of us like myself who like to go away in the winter time and away from mains hookup um, or if you're going on a big European tour where you don't want to have the stress of getting hold of gas, um, this will massively drop your gas use. So the only thing that runs on gas in this van when you're not on the mains is your fridge and your cooker if you're cooking in the van. Uh, so your hot water and your heating is dealt with via diesel if you're not on the mains, mains electric when you are, or a combination of the two. Now the other benefit of this system is it's six kilowatt. It's what they call the Truma Combi 6D. Um, so whereas a normal Truma gas or electric blown air heating system and hot water system is four kilowatts, this is six, it's 50% more powerful. So you will be super warm. Now, because you're not using a lot of gas, they've just put in a gas locker for a single gas bottle at the back there, but it will take an 11. Now, we don't do 11s in this country because we're awkward and British. We do everything different from Europe. They do 11s in Europe. In this country, you'll fit a six or a seven kilo Calagas bottle in there, or a very popular option is we could fit you an 11 kilo uh, refillable uh, gas flow system in there, and that way you can just fill up uh, from an LPG pump at home or abroad. But you're not gonna be using a lot of gas, so you've gotta we'll have a chat with you anyway about that, and you can work out what you're gonna be using the gas for, uh, where you're going, and is it worth paying the 400 odd quid to do that, uh, or just use Calagas? Anyway, we can talk to you about that. So coming around the back of the van, we've got a high level reversing camera and that feeds into a large touchscreen um, stereo sat nav radio system. And then you've got a rear locker to get into your garage and you've got a big door around there that we'll look at shortly. It's also got reversing sensors. Now they weren't standard, so they've been added. So it's got 400 quid's worth of reversing sensors and the camera at the back. Now there's no bike rack. Uh, obviously with the rear lift up flap on this, because it is a seven meter van, they put that in there so they could put the gas locker there instead of a second door. If you're gonna have a bike rack, we'd have to fit it up here higher up, but we can fit you a lift one as they call it. So you can wind it down to there, put your bike on then wind it back up again um, however you could just put your bikes in your garage which is here and that's part of the idea of having a garage for me is to put your bikes in the garage but if you don't want to we can fit a bike rack but personally you might want to put your bikes in there now this is an island bed van so obviously the island bed is about that level <coughs> so this is a height adjustable fixed rear bed so you've got your external shower fit in there never been used by the look of it your carpets now this you can wind up there's a lever inside you turn the lever like a starting handle on a model t ford and that will bring that up to there and then you've got room to fit two maybe three bikes as well as your chairs and other stuff in your garage there um, but if you're not taking bikes or you're not putting bikes in the garage then you can have that in the down position you've still got roosters loads of storage uh, so that is heated in there uh, I thought they had plug sockets in, it's got a light in it. I thought these had sockets in there. I can't... Oh yeah, there they are. So you've got a mains and a 12 volt socket in there, which is handy both for charging bikes and stuff in your garage. But also if you're sat outside underneath the awning, you can plug stuff into there if you want, either 12 volt or mains if you're on the mains as well for running things. I've also just spotted these, which are alarm sensors on the garage door. So it's obviously got a category one alarm system fitted to it. Um, that's been added. And it's also got a Scorpion track, it's actually from Category 5 tracking system. So that's the active top of the range tracker with the top of the range Cat 1 alarm. So that's again, that's another 1200 quids worth of kit, maybe something like that. 11, 1200 quids worth of kit. So everything's already been fitted to this. So you've got the Tule Omni Store awning, that was factory fitted. So this has got what they call the accessory pack on it from the factory. So that's the Tule awning and the solar panel on the roof. So we've got your fresh water, no, not fresh water fill up point, gas barbecue point there, sorry. Ah, I wonder if your waste drain is under under there. Oh, still can't find it. It's got one somewhere anyway. Set for set toilet locker there. It's the one with wheels and a handle like they all are. Fridge vent for your very tall three-way automatic energy selecting fridge freezer. That will run off the gas if you're not hooked up to the mains. It will automatically select the mains. If you do hook up to the mains, it'll automatically flip to your engine alternator if you are driving. So let's have a little look, speaking of driving, at the car spec. Um, Bodywork-wise, it is perfect on the outside. I've not seen anything wrong with it at all. 
I'm sure there will be a little tiny mark on it somewhere because it is second hand, but I haven't spotted it anyway. So, having a look at the front, we got Bremis concertina blinds on the windscreen and side windows, as you'd expect. And then you've got all your Ford niceties. You've got cup holders everywhere, great. You've got lots of plug sockets, also great. We've got auto headlights, we've got steering wheel controls. It's got this rather naff steering wheel cover that can come off. You've got the original leatherette one underneath. Steering wheel controls for your stereo and your cruise control. Obviously air conditioning, all the stuff you'd expect, traction control, you've got different mode settings. That's your big accent sat nav, so it's got DAB radio, uh, it's got Bluetooth, uh, it does sat nav. If it's got the SD card in it, we can supply one if it doesn't, yeah it does have one in it. Um, it's not the quickest sat nav out there, but it's a very good screen and it's very intuitive and easy to use. And it's got a cam button on there, so when you put it in reverse, you're reversing camera displays on there. Or if you want, and this is really good, you can hit the cam button and that will permanently display your reversing camera on there. So act like a rear view mirror for when you're driving, so that's really, really neat. Uh, let's just check that mileage. I'm just going to open and close the door, see if the mileage pings up. Ah, she got a flat battery. Oh, there we go. Yeah, 3,399, so it's slightly less than we said. So 3,399 on the miles, so it's not seen a lot of action. Now, coming inside the van. So you don't see many 7 metre island bed vans. The problem with island beds is they take up a lot of space. So 7 metres, you can get 6.5 metre island bed vans, and they're so cramped. Um, so normally 7 metres, most island bed vans are 7.5, but this 6.99 is a more usable size. But yet they managed to do it while feeling still quite spacious. So you get in centrally locked habitation door with a bin. You've got a fly screen door coming across there and a nicely lit up sort of unit with a handle and some coat hooks. So coming inside, you've got Shoson Smart Lounge. They were one of the first manufacturers to do this. So this is a twin sofa lounge with two seat belts. So, to turn these into very comfortable individual forward facing crash tested seat belted seats, you simply take your cushions off, turn that lever, and a backrest appears from there. Move your cushions around, and you've got a very comfortable forward facing passenger seat there with a seat belt, and the same over here as well. So, much, much better than sitting side by side with someone else, and you've gained all this floor space. So, I mean, it is. A compact van for an island bed with an island bed of its size so there are compromises compared to its bigger brother the 788 which is seven and a half meters long but it's a more usable size and it's cheaper on the ferries so finish with Shoson is very very modern um, by 22 they were doing the greys instead of the browns which is good so it feels modern and fresh it's in lovely condition it's not been smoked in I don't know if a dog has ever set foot into it but there's no dog hair or smell or anything like that if it has so we've got an electric table here I wonder if I've brought the isolator key with me, oh, I haven't. So you've got a button there, which will, is that electric? I think it's electric. Anyway, I think it is electric. The table will drop down, um, which you can use as a coffee table. You've got an electric front bed. So that's a full size double bed, as you can see from the underside of it there. You just press a button and that will come down to about halfway and you've got a ladder for getting into it. And it's a proper bed. Basically. You can leave that at any height, so you don't have to um, have it this high up if you've got thicker bedding. But otherwise, take your pillows off, put them over in the storage over the cab there, and uh, leave your duvet on, and you'll be fine on there. If you're never going to use this bed, you can take the mattress off, and then you've got storage for your ball gowns up there, things like that. So, nice, comfortable lounge, twin swivel cab seats. Still got storage underneath of the drop down bed, and you've got these nice LEDs up here on either side for your cab seat reading lights and USB chargers for your phone up there. Small USBs back here in the kitchen and a main socket for your kettle. Kitchen's pretty good for a Euro compact van. So we've got a nice light up splash back. What we've got, what does that button there do? Don't know what that did, it did something. Storage up there. This you could magnetize things to because it's metal. I'll come on to what that remote control does in a moment. 
oven. So it's a long time to get the European brands to start giving us ovens. So you've got a Thetford Triplex combined oven and grill. And then on the top you've got two gas burners and one mains electric. Something else it took us a long time to get the Europeans to, to give us. As Europeans don't go on mains hook up or cook in the van as often as we do. Storage is obviously fairly limited in the kitchen because you've got wheel arches and bits of kit and tanks and stuff underneath of there. So, but that's your compromise. You see that decent size, very deep cupboard underneath of there as well. There is framework there for you to put a little bin bag on there if you want, but for me, that's a bit of a waste of space. Opposite there, you've got a very simple CBE control panel with just gauges for your, for your tanks and your batteries and things. We've got the controls for your Truma, diesel, electric, heating, hot water, which again is very easy to use. And we give a really good handover on collection. This is the big, tall, thin fridge. <laughs> big, tall, thin fridge freezer I mentioned from the outside. It's a really good size, again, in super condition. And up yonder, we've got a box with stuff in. So there's the solar panel charge controller is there. You've got your TV aerial booster box and TV aerial uh, pole there. And that thing there is a Wi-Fi system, I think. I'd have to stick me out of the skylight to check that. Um, but it looks to me like it's a Wi-Fi system. So I'll have to see, look back at the vehicle's history to see what it was that we fitted to there. That, because it's an aftermarket audio visual bit of kit, we'll check it, uh, we won't sort of guarantee it. But it is there and we can find out more about it. And then we've got a slide out TV bracket. You'll get a 21 inch Avtex on this. And that'll come out and you can flip it around to face the bedroom or to face the lounge, which is very neat as well. But there is an extra TV point in the back if you wanted two TVs. So you've got a solid door to shut off the lounge and the bedroom, which is great if you're going with people. And then you've got a really, really nice bedroom. Um, Shoson Island beds are big. And the other thing I like about them, you may not like this, but I do. The problem, again, with island beds is there's always a bit of shuffling involved. And with a seven metre van, with to maximise the use of space, you've got to compromise by just shuffling through that gap there. But I mean, I'm quite big, I'm 17 on stone, and I can get through it easy enough. Or at least I could have if I'd have folded that back. <laughs> and then you can just step in, nice low bed. But that's your compromise anyway with your island bed. So big wardrobes, I think one side's hanging, the other side is shelved, two big high level storage cupboards, there are lights underneath of there, and I dare say there's probably charger sockets back there as well. You've got your second TV point over there and a main socket for a hairdryer as well, and we can put you a bracket on there if you want to. It's a very light and airy bedroom, so you've got big side windows, and you've got this Truma Aventa mains powered air conditioning system, so that's What's that, 1,500 quid to 2,000 pound fitted? So it runs only on mains electric, and obviously it'll provide cold air, um, but it will also provide heat as well, and it's remote control. Um, that's all been tested, that's working. Then you've got all your normal blown air heater ducts throughout the van as well. Now from memory, this is linked to the control panel for your heating system, I think, from memory on this one. So literally you can set a temperature, and through a combination of heating, um, through your blown air heating ducts which are all throughout the van or cooling through there it's like climate control basically so it's really posh um, I don't know if it's worth spending two grand on something like that but if someone else has done it all the better really if you really hate it we can put it back to being a skylight like it would have been originally but for me I leave it on it's a really good thing washroom so you've got a timbre door that comes around so you can fold very cleverly as I've now discovered fold that back Decent storage drawer in there for all of your ablutionary things, and there, Hollywood mirror. Hello, you've got a pull down hanging rail as well, so that's really good. Obviously, when the bathroom door is closed, it's a little bit tight there, but someone's in there just waits to get into bed, weighs around it easy enough, aren't they? Then you've got a really big shower over here. So obviously when you're on campsites, this will be folded back. So there's wooden duckboard for there. And it's a really, really big shower with a really big shower head. Another hanging rail to drip dry your uh, wet things in there. And a skylight for ventilation. That's super. So all in spot on condition. Um, yeah, 
There's nothing wrong with it really. It's, that's some slight thing, but it's only on the label for the uh, for the mattress. So yeah, no faults really. It's a lovely thing. So it's a Shoson Titanium Premium 648. It's got solar panel, it's got awning, it's got reversing sensors, it's got sat nav, reversing camera, um, cab blinds, it's got 170 horsepower engine, obviously it's automatic, uh, it's got the cat one alarm, it's got the category 5 tracker, the barbecue point and the external shower, so it's got everything you could want, decent saving off new, it's physical, it's here, it exists and it's a van that we've known from new. So you can give us a call, 0626 832 792, you can call us direct on the mobile if we're out here doing videos, 07432 662 558, check us out at the hybridcaravans.co.uk website or come and see us at the Devon branch of Highbridge. If you live nearer to the Somerset branch, come and see it at Devon. If you buy it, we'll send it to the Somerset branch. They will prep it up there. We'll give it an engine service. We'll give it a full habitation service. We'll give it a 12-month hybrid warranty covering all the factory-fitted mechanical and habitational items. You'll get a detailed working handover on collection, a free night on a campsite for after that handover if you're from further afield, and a free voucher for two further nights at a really nice campsite as well. So you get the real deal, the full package. So give us a call today and ask us about this lovely show on titanium premium 648 thank you very much goodbye